Hi guys, expert in, in the Philippines and the neighbor's dog. <laughs> so I've just been watching um, a video from a guy, well he's married to a Filipina, but um, I was looking through the comments and a lot of them are from Thailand, so they're expats who are married with the um, Asian women. Yes, they do not sleep with their wives in the same bed, which is, I mean, I, I know also a couple of subscribers, um, well, a couple, yes, a couple. They also do not sleep with their wives in the same room. So it's got me, it's got me thinking, why? <laughs> is it? Is it not normal for a husband and wife to, to sleep in the same bed? Um, okay, so what they were saying was, and this is an important factor for, I'm not going to say all of them, a lot of them, children. Um, it's like um, the, the Asians, they... And I've seen this with my wife's uh, family, so her children, so my wife's grandchildren. They all sleep in the same in the same room. So I, either they haven't got a second bedroom, so the children are actually no, they they, they sleep in the same bed as, as the parents. Even when they get older, um, I know. I don't want to say anything wrong now, because I might get then um, I might get told off by YouTube. <laughs> but I think there's laws in Europe where children at a certain age are not allowed to sleep in the same bed where the guy is. I, I think that for certain reasons, I think you understand you you know what I'm trying to say. Whether that's the same here, I'm I, I'm not sure. I don't think it is. It's just another cultural thing. I think if you live in a small house with either one or two bedrooms, it's usually then the guy that moves out into the spare bedroom, and the children sleep then with the mother. Um, I can remember when I so when I got married young with my ex-wife. Uh, so our first apartment, so we had a children's room, a dining room, and our master bedroom. And yeah, okay, the, when the child is just born, the first few weeks or month, well, then yes, um, we we had that in a, a baby's, you know, in the baby's bed next to our bed, but not actually in our bed. I was always against that. And then I said later, yeah, well, okay, when the child is then um, a little bit older, a few months, um, it can go then into the into the the uh, children's bedroom. So we had um, you could get those uh, cameras and um, what they called, so you can hear them. So any noise as soon as it would start crying. We could hear that on our bed on on, on the speaker, so there, there was no problem. And of course, the the baby beds have got the things up, so they can't fall out or or whatever. So that was a. But I, I was I was quite strict on that one, also with our second child, and it it worked. But here, in the Philippines, it seems that. Well, I'm not saying all of them because I, I I don't know all the every family, but most of the families I know here they a lot of them they all sleep in one room. Even if the daughter's older has her own children, they'll sleep also in the room with the parents. And then I've noticed also that the the husband then so it'd be the, the grandfather 
he'll sleep then in the living room on a mattress. Which I I <laughs> I don't yeah, I don't understand. If that's a cultural thing, then that's the way it is. But is it normal? You guys tell me tell me in the comments, how do you do you sleep with your wife in bed? Or do you are you in another room? In the guest room? If you haven't got a guest room, do you sleep on the on the sofa or and if you if you were talking to someone in the UK you now and you'd say, Yeah, I don't sleep with my missus, I, I sleep I sleep on the sofa or they go, What? What? What happened? <laughs> it's got me something it's got me a, a reason. Uh, this video I was just watching, he says they slept one time, one day or one night in a year. So he went over, he just oh, he went over to the bedroom and slept with them. And then uh, on camera, he said, well, you know, was it okay? He said, yeah, it was, it was okay. You know, but, I go, huh? And the guy said, it's not, it's not that they don't love each other. It's because um, they had a child also. So the child's in bed and I, I don't think I could have that. Um, I'm a restless sleeper anyway, and I wake up very easily. I'm, I'm always awake every two hours, and then I'm left, right, left, right, left, right, turning around and, and look at my cell phone, and I'll read a little bit and then nod off for a couple of hours and up, up again. And if my wife does move and then or coughing, I'm, I'm awake straight away. But then having another, a, a third, you know, like having a child in the bed, I, I don't think I could, that's not. And then I've also noticed uh, the times that my wife has come back very late. So I've gone up early because I was tired. And then if she comes back, I, I, I'm still a bit restless because I know she's not there. You know, you so you go over and you put your arm out and then you wake up. You go, oh, then you, where is she? <laughs> What's she doing? But it, it, it's, it was very, very surprised because I was reading the comments on the couple of videos that I was watching. It's but how many people don't sleep together, even though they're, they're married. Um, that's why I've done this video. I'm surprised. Am I doing something wrong? <laughs> Have I got to move into the guest room? It's, uh, I don't know, it's weird. To me, it's weird because it, it's not, it's not, I, I don't know. You you guys, tell me. Or, or, or the, the women, if there's any women, Mary, if you're watching. Do you... I mean, okay. There's, uh, there was uh, someone said, uh, yeah, they snore. Okay, that's something else because that would be then you're, you're stopping, you're interrupting someone else's sleep. So if you're snoring, or like I said, if someone's always moving, you're always moving, and it disturbs somebody, and then you say, Look, okay, um, we'll just try sleeping in separate beds or separate rooms and see how it goes. But it's like this guy said, they. They slept with each other one night in a whole year. <laughs> I, I, I'm still, I can't get over it. But um, again, like it, when you do really, really think about it, and like I've said, when you, when you look at the families here, especially all the, my walk around, all these very small houses, and they have... They have four or five or six children. So where did they all sleep? In one bed. Well, it's not even a bed. It's a, it's a very small room with a mattress on the floor. And then they use that. So at night time, that's used as a bedroom. And when they go up in the morning, like, like in Japan, so the, the mattress is either folded up or you, you put it up, lean it against the wall. And then that room is then used as, as whatever the... 
um, living room or, or hobby room or, or whatever. I, I don't know. But it was, um, yeah, I said that was weird. So, like I said, you go, let me know how you, I sleep with my wife in my bed, <laughs> in our bed. <laughs> I think, okay, in the four years that we've been here, maybe two nights, we didn't sleep together because we had a, you know, a little bit of an argument, so. But apart from that, we, uh, I was going to say, we, we live like a normal a normal couple and sleep with each other at night. I can't, I can't get it. I can't, is it, that's, it's not normal. I'm going to have to Google it. Is it normal? <laughs> I, yeah, I'm, I'm lost for, for words a little bit. Anyway, I thought it's just a quick video because I, I had to get that out. So you guys, you let me, you don't have to if you don't want to, but you, because that'll be interesting. You know, so all the, every, everyone I know, how do you sleep? Do you sleep with your wife? Or they went, do you sleep with your husband? Or do you sleep in um, different beds? I mean, it can be the same room, but different beds or separated rooms. So let me know in the comments and uh, I'll be waiting for them. And uh, so until then, from Coy Ian thinking, God, I'll see you on my next video. So until then, it's goodbye. Take care, guys. <laughs> Bye.